Hello and welcome back to Love Advice TV. My name is Coach Adrian. I am a relationship expert and I've dedicated my life to help men and women all over the world find happiness and love and flourish in their relationship. We are breakup experts. Most of the individuals who reach out to us come to us because they're going through a separation, a divorce, a crisis in their relationship and they're at a loss and they want to know what they have to do to turn things around. What are the communication tools? Do we have any tips to make an ex change the way that they see them and rebuild that report, that dynamic that they had in the early phases of their relationship during the honeymoon period? And you can find a lot of our videos on Love Advice TV will be centered around this process of winning back the heart of someone you love. But today I wanted to do a different type of video. I've been coaching an amazing, amazing woman in Charlotte, North Carolina area. And that woman reached out to me and quickly realized that the person that she wanted to get back with was not the right man for her. And all the more power to her for being able to take a step back, value herself enough to snap out of the funk that she was in and to realize that the man wasn't good enough for her. He could not provide her happiness and well-being. And so our focus quickly started to shift on helping her find the right guy for her, helping her build a common life project with a man. And she was frustrated because even though she was dating or meeting guys, it seems that she was not able to connect with the right type of guy. She would always feel disappointed at some point. And the question she asked for me is, what is the attribute or characteristic that I should be looking for when deciding what guy to date or even what guy to commit to in order to build a healthy common life project? And it's an amazing question. And I felt that the coaching session was so productive that I wanted to do a video on this very topic. And the key point that I made during this coaching session is that you need to seek the man that is actually truly looking to make you happy. Don't seek the, the guy that's funny or different or good looking or good in bed. All those things ultimately will wither. They probably will not withstand the test of time unless your man's primary attribute, unless through his actions and his deeds, he has shown you that he is most concerned with making you happy, truly valuing you. When his priority is trying to make you happy, the odds are that this is the right man for you, that this is someone that you can build a common life project with long term. Sometimes I know how hard it can be to date in this day and age. We often go through multiple partners. We tend to throw a relationship away as soon as we see someone's shortcomings and we get impatient, especially for you women who are older and looking to settle. The pressure is on and oftentimes you get in your own head and you start to overthink things. Zero in on the guy who makes you feel good about yourself. The guy who's really truly trying to make you happy, not trying to seduce you, not trying to get in your pants, not trying to use you in any way, shape, or form, but truly makes you happy or is aspiring to do that as well, in any case. Because that's the man that you will be able to count on when the going gets tough, when the ups and downs will surely come. Because every relationship is tested. Every relationship will be tested. And you want to have the right partner. That is the foundation for you women. That is the attribute that you should be focused on the next time you go out on a date or when you're evaluating if this is the right partner for you long term. I hope this was helpful. If you have any questions in that regard, please leave me your thoughts in the comment section below. And as always, it will be our pleasure to guide you, to provide you with a little push. Don't despair. Don't lose hope. 
you will find the right man as long as you are focused on looking for the right things in men. I wish you all the very best. Keep fighting the good fight. And see you soon.